Hey, family. It's your girl, Nancy Drew. And Mama C. And we're back with another episode of Two Black Mothers. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget the notification button. And leave your comments below. We'll be sure to get back with you. Time for that. Two black mothers. All right, all right, all right. So today is Manic Monday. Manic Monday. 1800. Yes. I need a whole glass it's, of this night. Today is our Cinco de Mayo. And we are oh, making drinks. Yeah. Hmm? I said, oh, that's what it is. Yes, because we are making drinks today. Woo! And she got a little, I got a little glass like that too. I should have made these drinks. You should have told one of the kids to bring you one. Oh, they ain't worth a quarter. I think one outside, one sleep, and the other <laughs> one in bed. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we have not talked over the weekend. It has been plenty of hot topics over the weekend. Yes. Um, we are going to jump right into it. As you were stating before, we got on here that Keith Lee had a bad experience with some greens. Yes. <laughs> How do we get... <laughs> I'm sorry. He had a bad experience with some greens. Yes. And it is, it is just, it's all over. Um... I just don't understand. Like, what happened? And why did he just not cut it out? Like, why yes. didn't he just cut it out? I feel that. I think that because he don't want to just show the good stuff. I mean, he do give stuff bad ratings sometimes. He'll be like, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for my taste buds or whatever. But I think the spitting out was extreme because he got extreme fans. So mm -hmm. I think that he should not have spit the greens out because he didn't rate all the food bad. He was like, oh, this was pretty good. This was pretty good, you know. And then he got to them greens and was like, and spit them out. Zero out of ten. Zero yeah. out of ten. <laughs> he now, he could have just did the Dre. If he would have did that, it would have made it funny. And he could have continued on. But the spitting out and act like he was about to die, you know, that it just went bad, and people have been doing bad Google reviews on this lady's business. And she said, This is how they paid their bills, it's a family owned business. Um, and she did make a video stating that you know they do make them fresh every day, and you know, she doesn't know what happened because you know, people were saying you put chitlins in the greens because they thought the bite that he took was chitlins. Do you have the, do you have the clip? It's fat, it was fat. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to have okay. Yeah, let's go to here. He got 17 million views on this one. Mm. Me and my family were driving around Michigan when we got this DM. We can pause to read if you would like to. I got it, let's try it and rate it with the team. We spent $90.63. The custom service, my family said, while the people were extremely nice, the wait time was extensive. We only got three plates and an hour and a half is kind of extensive. People ask me. We'll say in my opinion, a big nod to the custom service is the fact they were DoorDash. I can only imagine doing walk-ins and DoorDash in a small space like this. So I respect it. Actually, the wait time could be because people are starting to hear about it and they're trying it and they packing this liquor store. They out. were very proud and she did say that. But nonetheless, I'll show you everything I got and we're gonna try it and rate it with the team. The first problem is that this restaurant is in a liquor store. <laughs> so that might have been the first problem. Like somebody who was cooking the greens might have had a drink before they cook. Because I ain't never heard of a restaurant inside of a liquor store. Mm -hmm. I done heard of some tacos inside the gas station. I done heard of fried chicken mm -hmm. in the gas station. Mm -hmm. I have not heard of soul food in the liquor store. Where they at? Detroit? Did they say Detroit? Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. why. That's why. That's why. Mm -hmm. And then another That's thing. If I wrote Keith Lee on Friday, from that Friday to the next Friday, I'm going to make sure everything is fresh because I don't yeah. know when he might pop up. 
But you said that they made the greens fresh on well, that's every what day. Said, but I'm just saying, I mean, because somebody else, you know, um, um, the other boy that do the reviews, Chime Time. Mm-hmm. Chime Time has been there before and he did a review. He said the greens was good. So oh. I think that he just ended up with a bad batch. Oh, so and somebody did taste the greens. Like you, you need to taste greens to make sure. And that's what I'm saying. Good. That in the liquor store, somebody might have had a drink on the day that they was cooking the greens. <laughs> Sipping that and making greens <laughs> may go wrong. But if you wrote him a message and said, "Come by our family business," I would think that you would be there because she didn't say she made them greens. Ooh, ooh, she made them greens. Who made the greens? She didn't say she did. She said the greens are made fresh every day. How many people in there cooking? None. I don't know. Go ahead and play. Go ahead. But let's go back just a little bit. Uh, A little bit. A little bit. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right here. This place got a 4.4 out of 1,700. 1,700 rating. 820 people reorder so they have the business they do good what you looking at i can't see um <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah they have good ratings i'm telling you they have good reviews people have said the food was good chime time is one person that will tell you your food nasty he said mm-hmm. the food was good i think that whoever made the greens did not taste them and and they might have been from the day before they made she said that they sell out of greens most of the time. So maybe that time they didn't sell out the greens and the next day. What? What? No, they sold out the greens. He came too early and them greens wasn't ready yet. That's what it was. Them greens okay. wasn't ready yet because you can't you can't eat if they're collards now. You can't eat no greens that's not ready. They can't be cooking for two minutes and you think they're gonna be good. No, that's not how they work. But they look cooked. Let's see. Let, let's look at the plate. Okay. Tastes like this, so I respect it. Actually, the wait time could be because people are starting to hear about it, and they're trying it, and they packing this liquor store. They out. were very proud, and she did say that. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you the thing I got, and we're going to try it. Everything went to 10. Lamb chops, turkey chops, chicken wings, mac and cheese, fried turkey chops, potato salad and greens, and a side of cornbread. I've always stood on honesty and transparency, but at some point coming up, I wasn't able to be as constructive as I would like to be. But my intentions were honest and they appear as always. I don't mean no harm. This is one of the most roller coaster reviews I've ever done. But the day I'm not honest, 100% about my experience is the day I stopped doing reviews. And at the same time, I attempted to be as constructive as I could. Just know I tried. God bless you. When I saw it, it did. Not when I saw it. This lamb is more gamey than a lot of lamb chop I've ever had. It's also a lot fattier and a lot chewier, too. What the hell gamey mm-hmm. means? For, for me personally, like the it's, game? Here. it's seasoned oh. well, though, and I do like the sauce. The sauce is nice and sweet. It's not super sweet, though. It's a chicken wing. Everything here looks very simple. Look wing looks good. It's seasoned well. It is seasoned extremely well. This is fried chicken, but it's really seasoned fried chicken. Hot sauce came on the side. Oh, I like hot sauce. But I thought it was for me, this is 7.5 out of 10. With the 7.5. Sauce, 7.8 out of 10. This is a turkey chop. I didn't get on camera, but my family just tried it. They all kind of agree. This is seasoned really well, and it's a really good turkey chop. But all of this kind of just tastes like you at somebody's auntie house. Like you at somebody's mama house. Or but isn't that what you're supposed house. to taste like? Like what, what do a soul food restaurant supposed to taste like? Yeah, I would think it's supposed to give mama's house. I don't I don't know. Maybe he won't that- grandma's house. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand what he meant by that. When he said, when I watched it the first time, I was like, what? It's supposed to give that. A soul food restaurant is supposed to give your grandma cooking, your mama cooking, your aunt cooking. It's supposed to give you that. Not Gordon Ramsay. It don't supposed to give you that. Yo, house for I just feel like if this was quicker and a little bit cheaper, like this would be a very, very, very well-known spot, especially well-known enough for them not to be in a liquor store. When I went back in, I was like, wanted to give you a little bit of time because you said you had a lot of orders. She said, yeah, we just been slammed. I see why. Mm. I'm not surprised by any stretch of the imagination why they slammed. This turkey chop by itself is an 8.5 out of 10. Turkey I can see, and you're in the liquor store, you get your liquor, you get your, your aunt's yeah. cooking, you didn't. You said that. You just got off work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The turkey chop. Yeah, it is. Next, we got the greens. Yeah, that was just some meat. 
To be honest with you, that's and it, it, he, she may have like maybe they use this. Do they sell chitlins? I don't know. She just said it with chitlins in there. Oh, I'm about to say maybe she used the same spoon to scoop the chitlins. She used the same spoon for the collard greens too, and put it and it mixed together. So a piece of chitlin got into the green bowl, and she didn't know. And so when he scooped it, it was a little piece of chitlin taste, and he don't like chitlin, and that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. That's what we're gonna stick with. That she used the chitlin spoon to get his greens. She used the shit spoon, and <laughs> that's why he was like, "Oh no." Oh no, he like, mm. and he's so nice with it because that should have been zero out of ten. That's one of the worst things I've had in a long time. Oh. It's extremely pungent. It's strong. Now, it's what would make it pungent? Like green. What does pungent mean? Sour? <laughs> I mean? A strong pungent taste. I'm telling you, what it was. Them greens was not done. I don't think they was done because that would be they were still strong from just. Fresh cut greens. They wasn't. You could tell they was fresh cut greens. They wasn't Kenya. Well, they wasn't done. They probably just was not done. And somebody didn't taste them before they start serving them. You have to taste your greens. Well, this one. Did, she, did he say they was tender? Let's see. Oh. Where that person just come on? Oh, it's somebody else's page. I was like, oh my god, they keep <laughs> Me and my family are dropping it's around. True. It's not super sweet though. It's a chicken wing. Everything here looks awesome. For me, this is Santi house. Like you at somebody mama house or like you at your friend house. Yo house. Yo house. Oh, I thought he had put that, I just feel that, like this that quicker, thing and now I'm about to say, oh my like, god. This would be a very, very, very well known spot, especially well known enough for them not to be in a liquor store. When I went back in, I was like, wanted to give you a little bit of time because you said you had a lot of orders. She said, yeah, we just been slammed. I see why. Mm. I'm not surprised by any stretch of the imagination of why they slammed. This turkey chop by itself is an 8.5 out of 10. Turkey I can see. Good. And you're in the liquor store. You get your liquor. You get your, your auntie's you cooking. You didn't. You said that. You just got off work. Mm -hmm. The turkey chop. Yeah, it is. Next, we got the greens. Oh. Yeah, that's right. To be honest with you, that's the that's one of the worst things I've had in a long time. It's extremely pungent, it's strong, it's, it's a fresh. taste that don't taste like greens. I've no idea what that is, to be honest with you. I don't mean no harm, but that's a zero out of ten if you ask me. And to be honest with you, I don't really, oh, it. I don't right really, right right really don't mean to be rude, but God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. And why did he end with that? Like he ended with that. He could have said my overall score because you gave the turkey chop, you gave the chicken a good one. My overall score was this. He ended bad with that. Like he know that not to do that. And people out here take this shit serious. They take everything he say to heart. Hello, <laughs> zero out of ten. I was just thinking I'm gonna cut this and put Dre. Zero out of ten. <laughs> yep. That's exactly why you said zero out of ten. <laughs> okay. You need to put Dre right there. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I was gonna do the, the sound right there. That as soon as he spit it out, because he deleted his video, so you can't even you can't even take Dre video and put it at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Because Dre deleted his video. But if you go on Olivia page to get the sound, it just use him. Taste but you can put your face up there. Zero out of ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Paul's Keith face spit like. Yeah, that was a piece of chitlin in there. And they made a mistake because he was like, I never tasted anything like this before. Mm -hmm. I've never heard him do a review on a piece of chitlin. Mm-mm. I don't and think he probably is. won't. <laughs> he probably I won't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't blame him. Zero um, out of ten. Well, 
<laughs> she has asked that you guys all please make your own judgment on her food. Please stop making bad reviews. Um, can you type in their name? Let me see what what they Google say. What's their name? name? Lily Lily Lily's uh Lily Bells. Lily Bells. Lily Bells. I bet she famous now, goddamn. Zero out of ten. What's her yep. name? He's on Mr. Charm. He was there in January. Yeah, he said it was good. Here we go. What up, though, TikTok? This her responding? What is somebody? Done recording it. We'll be doing that, but no. Um, we only cook our greens with turkey. Um, the greens did not actually set out for the day. They were made fresh. Um, so, but it's okay. Everybody's taste buds are different. We're not mad. We just like to have a little fun. But we appreciate the feedback and hope you come and see for yourself. Let's go. Um, I'm not mad at that response. Actually, I think it was a pretty decent one. To where it's like, no, we don't use chitlins, we don't do whatever, and you know, everyone's taste buds is different. I wish that was the first video that they made, but either way, they came around. They said they don't put chitlins in the greens, they said they put turkey, this is what Keith Lee received. Now, that down there does kind of look like turkey to me, or ham, whichever one, but you again, I am not, you know... I didn't grow up on greens, so I can't judge it too harshly. Yeah, so it just sounds to me good. like Keith Lee just got a bad batch. Like, and you know, the restaurant as a whole did pretty well, actually. So he liked the chicken. The lamb, he said, was a little fatty. So he said gamey. Um, it was a chicken, the lamb. I forgot what other meat, but it was going well Me. until them greens. The so I don't know. If it was a bad batch. And then see looking at those foils and stuff, I hope there's a way to they have a way of keeping all of that warm. Um, but overall, I'm not mad at the response. And like, you know, I'm having my little fun and everything, but they're taking it pretty easy. I just wish they would delete that Mr. Chime Time video. But yeah. What happened? What up, though, And look how many pots they got up there. Them greens wasn't done. Them greens um, wasn't done. She just reposted Chime Time's video when Keith said it was bad. Yeah, right here. No, that's Mr. Chime Time's video. Um, uh, go down. This one. Click on their page. Uh, Lily Bell's cuisine. Somebody tagged them. Right here. Yeah. Okay. And so she posted. So I just wanted to get on here to address this issue that we're having. Um, there have been some false Google reviews on okay, page, pretty. And it's very disheartening, um, especially because the people who are leaving this, these reviews don't even live here in Michigan. They've never stepped foot in our restaurant. Michigan. And some of the things that they are saying are suggestive of the Keith Lee review. Um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, really caught me by surprise. I know we don't we don't deserve that. We work too hard to get our reviews to a certain point, and just to see a plummet like that in a matter of seconds. I mean, I know that's something that Keith Lee doesn't stand for. So it's like, well, he on, should redid like, that video. Really? Um, we're a family-owned business. Like we all quit our jobs to be there. We're there full time. This is how we live, you know? So something like that, people go to Google first. So to see that can really tarnish a business to see that that rating. You really go to TikTok. So here. like I said, I know we don't deserve it, um, but you know, I'm praying for you all. There's a lot of hate, unnecessary hate. Um, so I know that God got us at the end of the day, but yeah, I just wanted to address that. Peace. Mm. Yeah, now that's wrong. Don't lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't lie. That's wrong. I would say that's wrong. That is. Um, 
But that's what I'm saying. He already know he has them type of fans. So I think that he should have already, you know, like you said, cut that part out. He could just said zero out of 10 and then gave an overall rating. But the spitting it out made it extreme. And, it, mm-hmm. and, and I know he probably didn't mean for her to get bad reviews and stuff like that because he still said seven out of 10 on this and seven out of 10 on that. But just that little part, his fans is crazy. So they do the most. They do. And he oh. should have put overall because he mm-hmm. usually say overall. Mm-hmm. Like, and then he usually go oh, back and saw him off guard. He was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what they fed me. I mean, because he ended it after that. He was like, yeah. yeah. Like, what happened? Man, that is sad that they, they going down like that. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I think she just used the wrong spoon. It happens. It does. It happens. And um, I hope they can bounce back. Well, on another note, 